Are we supposed to start this off? All right, what's up, uh, YouTube people, or wherever else I share this video to? It is me, Jamel, Shane Jamel Taylor, whatever you want to call me. Uh, yeah, this is the first video on this channel where I'll be vlogging my sometimes interesting life, trying to do some cool things for you guys. Uh, yeah, we're going to start off kind of tough, though, because today I'm driving this little tiny this big car, I don't even know what this thing's called. It's one of them Honda Fit looking joints that I rented because today we're fighting on place of peace. Yeah, so we're going to be driving, I think, a couple hours, two to two and a half to three hours down to the event. We're going to fight. I'm doing a Nogi fight. I haven't done a Nogi super fight since 2019 or a Nogi match since 2019. I don't remember if I did any Nogi since then. I doubt it. But we're going to be getting back on the Nogi scene. We're going to do some, have some fun today. Got a nice, fun, tough opponent and Leo Domingo. So, yeah, I'll see you guys down there. We'll be on our way to Place of Peace and then got some other things going on this weekend. It's going to be a pretty crazy weekend, actually. So just stay tuned. Okay, so schedule. Right now, I am late going to Place of Peace. I'm probably going to get there. About an hour before I fight, so it's not too bad. I wanted to catch some other matches, but it's all right. So I'll get there around 1-ish, get warmed up, get ready, see who's there, say what's up to everybody. I fight, should be going around 2, or maybe right before 2, maybe right after 2. Either way, fight, then I have to return this rental car at the Philly airport. So I got a one-way rental from where I'm at now in a DMV. And then we're going to drive up to the tournament. It's me. I'm on the dolo trip in this little tiny car. Probably couldn't even fit nobody else. I'm really upset about this car. It's a two-seater. My suitcase is in the back. The whole trunk is gone already. I could probably reach back and touch the back window. I don't even feel safe in this thing, to be honest. The car goes like one, 110 max. I, I'm not a fan. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to return this to Philly Airport. And then... I fly to Oakland. Uh, all right. <laughs> we about, I don't even know how to get out of this car. About an hour and 20 minutes away from the destination. I took a little stop to get some, something to eat right quick. Get something to drink. Let me show y'all what this car looking like. This is what they got me driving, man. <sighs> It's a sad life. But look though, we ball. It's okay. But check out the the the, the shout out to Gerard, bro, because the, the AP package landed. You see the waffle, the gray waffle knit. You see the hoodie. Uh that's not an AP hat. That's a uh initial D hat for all my anime people, you know. If you know, you know. Otherwise you don't know, so shut up. But yeah, we got the fit. Let me show you the rest. We got the AP on the sweats as well. Very cozy. We're going all white on the socks today. You know, I had to flex. And then down bottom. You know, these is like these is like my everydays. The AP sock and the co -op. Also give y'all, don't worry about this. We about to be this for the this for the trip after this trip. But you know, then this morning on the way out the the pack landed. We're about to be Looking very nice during this fight today. Shout out to Jerron. Shout out to AP. These are the backups. These are the... I don't know what these are, actually. No, these are the, the COA team. Shout out to COA team from when I did my seminar down there. I got blessed with the, the gym exclusive. The gym exclusive AP. But yeah, this is what we rocking today. Boom. And we're back on the road. And I'm even more late because I was late when I left out and I needed to get food, so... Is what it is. If you know me, you know I gotta eat. Had me a little sausage McMuffin from uh Sheets. That joint was kinda hitting. And then I got a little little bev. Any of y'all ever had this joint? A little sugar cookie Hershey's. I don't even like chocolate. Like I don't be eating chocolate like that, but you're gonna see what that joint talking about. I'll let y'all know if it's if it's good or not, but I won't have that till after. If I have that before the match. 
It might be, you know what I'm saying? I might ruin them nice white mats they got at Place of Peace. place of peace um i don't know what the service is gonna be like down there because it's that they something happened with the venue got moved to the gym so it's kind of like home turf for me because i've trained here and taught here uh, a lot so we're gonna go down to the to the underground arts dungeon see what's going on uh yeah get warmed up get ready to fight <laughs> All right, we're back. Um, okay, it, it, the past hour was kind of crazy. So I pull up to Place of Peace, all good, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, I'm late, but I'm not like to my fight time. I'm just late thinking about how much time I need to warm up and watch some fights or whatever. So I get in there, I go ask them. Uh, I noticed that they're moving a little bit ahead of schedule. So I was just like, let me find out what time I'm up so I know what kind of warm up I can get done or how, like if I need to warm up right now and uh, pop the chug jug, AKA my energy drink and get ready or do I get to chill, watch a few matches, talk to some people, whatever. So they was like, nah, you're up in two fights. I was like, oh, all right, let me get dressed. Throw on my 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 AP Atmos Nogi set, looking looking flea looking very fire um do like the, the you know the fake warm-up but the thing with me is like when you compete there's the the venue and location and that aspect kind of you need to warm up not always just for your body conditioning but for that aspect of it like the adrenaline you're in a new uncomfortable space all that type of stuff going on we were at the place of peace spot i've been there plenty of times teaching training doing uh content podcast whatever so i've been there that's that's i got home field advantage as far as like the comfort so i don't need to there's no adrenaline for me i'm i'm chilling it's gonna be like a training round that counts that's how i i was seeing it so i do a quick warm-up i'm chilling i'm vibing i'm ready to go call me out call my opponent out dude's not even there dude's not there don't know what happened. Don't know what's what. Dude's not there. So we we're sitting there like, crap. The uh, Gianni had just got off the match fighting Murdoch. So Dez, who's one of the, the, the Place of Peace guys, the brothers Dez and Craig, shout out to them, comes up. He's like, hey, man, I don't know where your opponent's at. Uh, you down to fight? I was like, man, you, whatever, whoever's in here that's around my side that wants to fight, let's do it. He asks around uh, Murdoch. He, bro, shout out to... Shout out to the Murdoch bros, bro. They're crazy. Dude was like, yeah, I just fought. Let's do it. And so we we did it. Pause. Big pause. We we fought a very fun match, very entertaining match. We, uh, I feel like for our styles, um, we know what they bring, like the energy, the, the style, the swag that they bring to all their matches. I guess I'm more of the unknown as far as Nogi goes, but me personally, I... I open up a lot more in Nogi as far as like doing crazy stuff because you can in Nogi and the Gi is very hard to do a bunch of jumping crazy stuff. Like it has to be no grips and beginning of a match or whatever the case may be. But in Nogi, you could you can go crazy whenever you want to. And I have a lot of fun doing that. So we were jumping for guillotine, jumping past the guards, jumping around, jumping on legs, whatever. So yeah, we had a nice entertaining match. I ended up winning by a uh, rear naked choke. And I think it was about a, a minute and a half, maybe two minutes left. It was a different rule set where it's points, then the points turn off. So I had three points before the points turned off. I may have had two. It may have been two, two zero, because I had a takedown. And then um, once the points turned off, we both got one more point for our submissions. I had a calf slicer. He had a uh, outside heel hook. And we both got one, so it was three one, and then I ended up getting the the submission finish. So 
yeah, that it was fun. Shout out to them. They had they they uh really pivoted really well. They their venue got double booked, something crazy where they had to they were either gonna have to cancel the event or make something happen and they fit everyone in their event their uh like gym, set it up real nice, had everything where it's supposed to be, um, had a space to warm up, shower, chill, do whatever we needed to do, had the production booth set up, had commentary, everything, scoreboard, everything looked nice. Oh dang. Uh, I hope they're okay. But yeah, everything was nice. Turned out pretty well. Um, I just went out there, no real warm up, just throwing down. You know, it's kind of crazy, but here we are. Match is done. Um, I really want to give the camera to my other hand, but I can't because I'm in this tiny car. There's nowhere to rest my arm over here. Yeah, I don't know. Now I'm on the way to return the rental car. I am like right on time to return the rental car and go to the airport and I guess we'll catch up there. I'm in traffic right now. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about what this channel is going to be, what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. <laughs>